Thanks for joining us. It's wonderful to have you. Uh, it's a great day to be alive and give God the glory. Let us uh, all uh, consider what we have gone through this week and consider that is uh, is ne ever near <laughs> and dear to us. Amen. <clears throat> we have all had our difficulties, uh, but God is able, and uh, <clears throat> we thank Him for life. We thank Him for the blessed hope. We thank Him. Oh, yes. Mm. All right. Happy Sabbath again. Tell somebody we are here. So it is that time we like to talk about a few things so that later on, you know, this present time will be our history. And um, it is rather significant to, you know, highlight some of the things that are taking place this moment. <clears throat> there are some volcanoes in, what's the place again? St. Vincent. St. Vincent. Volcanoes in St. Vincent. Ah, and the people are on the smoke and all that, you know what volcano is. Uh, one time we heard of, we saw it, you know, wreaking havoc in Hawaii. Yeah, Kilauea. Lava, lava running like river. On the streets. On the streets, on the lawns, in the homes, just running and burning down houses. Hey. That was horrible. Uh, today we don't <clears throat> know, but we have been praying for those of you in St. Vincent and the neighboring uh, areas that are suffering because when we don't know when th that snow comes up, it can be devastated with, uh, devastating to those who are uh, of, um, uh, bronchitis or lungs challenge or asthma problems. <clears throat> Those are more challenging, but everybody is at risk. All right, it has been another week of George Floyd's trial. What do you want to talk about that? What you heard? No, I, all I remember is how you used to rant. No, please, today, <laughs> I'm talking about, no. Uh, that is one history. <laughs> that is history. When it happened. Yeah. How oh, about right. today? Today, yeah. I did uh, I mean, this week. Well, this week we have some rather interesting... Chilling. Chilling, interesting te testimony with, from our probe from the defense. 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 And that struck me a, a little chord because, you know, the defense, I mean, is bringing out some things. He didn't die from... <laughs> did he? From, yeah, he died from um, he being a druggist or he being on, on drugs. Oh. And so it's a drugs in his system. Kill him. So mm. that's a that's a type of defense, you know. Mm. Well, that is playing out uh, still. I think this week or next week could be the last of that, mm -hmm. um, and then things will go obviously to the jurors. So. 
again we have different shootings people are on the shooting spree taking lives that they cannot make they can't blow breath and so but they are taking lives and um, we have quite a few uh, mass shooting and single shooting you recall any of them uh, we have one in Washington and well part of first now on the brighter side yes please what you have on the brighter side go ahead I'm just brainstorming some of the things that are happening to mark our history as as we go through we look on these videos and we I recall when I spoke about uh, the Iranians or, or the um, Russians went into Syria and were training them uh, remember that I, so I use these little things these big things to mark the history and we know that <coughs> all things work together for of good. So God is able and God is good. Yes, on the bright yeah. side. All right. My Something. big sister is here. Oh, Let's see. Big sister is here. Big mm -hmm. sister. Oh my goodness. She's like a stick of dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> a a of, great a help. A lot, lot of a lot of strength for a big sister. Eh? Yes, see. Now the one supposed to have all that strength. Oh, well, you have the friend. You have, you have it. You have strength. <laughs> no doubt. Maybe different. Yeah, yeah manifest differently. Oh, it's. Oh, well, God is great. good. We are thankful. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, we can testify to the goodness of God that yes. we have been on the road, mm -hmm. back, Safe and sound. Mm -hmm. God has spared us from all the unseen and the seen accidents and dangers and trouble. God bless you. I know He spared you and you are grateful for that. So together we come here, we are here to read and to study, and more so to give God all the glory and the praise. <coughs> all the glory and the praise. All right, let's just sing our seventh song. And that one we will sing number I can see this Lord of the Sabbath. <laughs> you want my I don't have much variety. Feature glasses. <coughs>
One more song. <coughs> One more song. We have a selection. Mm. Oh, it's about six one seven. Song that lately. 617, we are living, we are dwelling in a grand and awful time. I need both things to see kind of my there. My light is not so good. Yet. Thank you. 
right, let me change to my right spec. See the final prints. Right. We are living, we are. Cease not till the victory is won. Ah. The fourth verse. Yes, yes, well, that's a fourth. Ah. Till your captain loud proclaim it. Servant. Ah. Well done. Well done. A good and faithful servant. He alone. For thus is faith, who abideth to the end, hath the promise in his kingdom on eternity to spend. This is powerful stuff. Now, uh, I want us also to underscore something in verse. I think. Ah, look at verse 3. He, let me take it from the top, and the prince of evil, ah, spirit, spirit, great deceiver of the world. He who at the blessed Jesus wants his deadly weapon hurled, huh. mm -hmm. cometh with unwanted. What's the meaning of unwanted? 
power. Unwanted power. That's why God has to <clears throat> call to his army because this general of the evil spirit is calling his forces. Watch this now, watch this. He said, cometh with unwanting power, knoweth, knowing that his reign will cease. The devil not playing right now because his time is coming to an end. Oh, yes. Ah. Sound like joke. He is he has this power, this immense power. Everything that was under his belt, he's pulling out now all this pear. Right? All the nuclear, all the bombs, the most sophisticated weapons. Of the hells the bog are being pulled out now. Uh, you think going to church on warm bench and be a part of a social movement <coughs> can handle this power? Uh, we must know what God is doing now. Regarding the preparation to be a step ahead of this marshal, this general of the evil spirit, the evil power, the evil spirit, it's a, with unwanting, unwanted power. Ah. Uh, the, and, and here it says, when the kingdom, when what? The kingdom. What do you know about the kingdom? <laughs> ah, you see, that's what we should know. The kingdom is one of the critical lessons of this time. Because Satan will come against it. We will have a kingdom church. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Ask your pastor right now about that kingdom church, what the people are talking about. Why you don't know about it. All right. Thank you for joining us. Tell somebody we are here. Let's See what we can do. The Sabbath, the sun is setting later and later. It sets at what? Eight something today in our neck of the woods. And so we um, I know we are, well, way up in time already. Way up in time. I don't know. <coughs> We should have been here from sunset so that we could have all that time. Nevertheless, we take what we get, or what we can get. I'm going to read a thought from, let me just open Child Guidance. And, um, Look at the topic, chapter 2, the first teacher. Parents to understand their responsibilities. The father and the mother should be the first teachers of their children. Fathers and mothers need to understand their responsibility. The world is full of snares for the feet of the young multitudes are attracted by a life of selfish and sensual pleasure. 
They cannot discern the hidden dangers or the fearful ending of the path that seems to them the way of happiness. Through the indulgence of appetite, and passion, their energies are wasted and millions are ruined for this world and for the world to come. May God help us in this manner. Millions and millions of children. God will be asking us for children. And many will be ruined. And as I said from time to time, the parents are responsible for saving the children. Ah, and that's why it is imperative. <clears throat> it is very, very imperative. Now let us go a little further because this is quite stunning. Millions are ruined for this world and for the world to come because what we take from this world is character. So we have to form and build that. <coughs> um, and you see what the simple things Appetite, appetite for want of happiness. Mm -hmm. You with me? All right. <clears throat> Let me just say, through the indulgence of appetite and passion. Okay. Parents should remember that their children must encounter these temptations, even even before the birth of the child, mm -hmm. the preparation should begin that will enable it to fight successfully the battle against evil. Wow. It is not a small matter mm -hmm. to have children in this world carelessly, there's children having children, there's a chain reaction there, <coughs> we find that if one is not trained and one has children, then children are going to come, going to be ruined. <coughs> But may God help us. Yes, may <coughs> Pray with us, please. Gracious and most compassionate Father, we are so grateful for this another privilege you have afforded us. To see another Sabbath where we can come together with our family, family members all over the world. Lord, we thank you for the way you have guided and protected us. We give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. We pray now that thou will teach us, hide us behind the cross, and may the Holy Spirit lead us and teach us in what we should learn tonight. Let's anoint everyone in the hearing of my voice, now and later. We ask his mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, you have a testimony? Just go forward. Yeah, go forward.
All right, again, we thank you for joining us. We are in Matthew chapter 20, and you are, some, of, uh, some of you are aware how we, how we got there and why we are there right now. Uh, the last time we looked at again the calls and see that there was a systematic layout of the hours distributed to all the movement that God has called on this earth during the Christian starting with the <clears throat> message to the Jews. That's the Jews. The Jews were the first to be called as missionaries with a special message, an original message, the sanctuary. Um, we notice also that the day is determined by the sun, as we have it now, literally, rising and setting off the sun. And so, that is in the symbolic terms of the scriptures, the Bible is a light, a word is a light, right? And so, the writing of the first two, five books by Moses is the beginning of that day period of man's redemption time. So when the Bible was written, that started the beginning, early morning, and that's why when the first set of workers who were not em employed, they were idle, they were called to... Um, go into the vineyard. So they were called to go into the vineyard. Um, did I say that right? The first, <coughs> the first set of workers, yes, were called by God. That means a people with a message to spread to the world and to spread to others, where the Jews. And Christ Object Lesson 400 tells us clearly that the Jews were first called into the vineyard. <coughs> and after the early morning, we have three hours during which the Jews were, three parabolic hours, and they worked until their work came to a point in, at the third hour of the day, God saw it fit to call another set of workers. Remember this, God called people with a special message adapted for the situation in which the people are living in their uh, dispensation. Of course, Noah was called with a message adaptable for his time. If flood was going to come, then he has his message of the flood, right? So God called people into to go with it who are the repository of his truth for the time. All right? And so the Jews, of course, and we know they were responsible for the sacrificial, uh, the sanctuary, the priest, the priesthood, and all that, burnt offering, thank offering. And of course, their work came to an end because the sacrifices were a shadow of Jesus Christ. 
Og hvor ikke jeg mister det. The apostles came on the stage, as it were, the third hour. They were the third hour workers, with an original message, Christ had never died before. <laughs> Christ had never been buried before, and they preached his death, his burial, and his resurrection. That was the truth. It was the message adapted for their situation when they were on the face of the earth. That's, that runs its course, its course and we showed that it skipped over the Reformation, the calls during the Reformation Martin Luther and all those who brought about the Presbyterian Church, the Lutheran Church, the Methodist, Baptism, and all those. Why? Because they were not original, those were not new. Those were all true that they had to, God had to call them, use them to raise up all true. All doctrine that was there were there in the church. Hence, when we move from the apostles, if we search, you search, and you will find that the next truth that God had was the twenty three hundred days. The cleansing of the sanctuary carried by Miller. God chose Miller to do that. Isn't God wonderful to us? And he was the sixth hour. Look, read Matthew again. We are just reviewing. So we have gone through that and then three hours equally distributed to all of them, the sixth hour, and then he went out again, the ninth hour, Matthew 20 we are, 1 to 8. And the ninth hour, of course, got three hours, but the ninth hour, according to the word of God, is that movement that comes after Miller on the prophetic foundation that is Seventh-day Adventist. Ah. The ninth hour Seventh-day Adventist. They also, that period was given three hours, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. God is ready to come at the end of the day. The three angels' message is the last. The last message for the saving of mankind is this three angels message fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come Daniel prophesied about that said the judgment is set and the books are open and since all the Books of the Bible meet and end in Revelation, then that's where John picked it up and tells us that this is the end. But we find that during the period of the Seventh day Adventist, the three hours, no other um, worker 
was interrupted or had any problem carrying out their three hours early morning, third hour, third hour, sixth hour, sixth hour, ninth hour, ninth hour, eleventh hour, two hours after they started and one hour to finish, God saw that he must call an emergency meeting and he had to call the eleventh hour workers. How about that? We can't miss that. And we're not going to stop showing you because unless you have something else to tell us, then we will continue to say that the Seventh-day Adventist movement is based on prophecy. The only one with all the six grains that Ezekiel 4 tells us about. We have gone through that. Go to our videos. The six grain, the wheat, the barley, the bean, the millet, the fitchel. As I go. Yeah. <laughs> wheat. Wheat. Wheat of faith. Yes. Wheat we have gone through grace. that. The record is there. All right. <clears throat> so, tonight we want to continue to look. If the three angels' message will finish the work, and it's the last, but you have to call the eleventh hour worker, then. Let's look at something. Testimonies, Volume 6, 406. Go ahead, go ahead. We see are I, to... See if I can move that thing. Okay. Come on. <laughs> it's stubborn, probably. Touch it. Too. All right, I think I can close this one. <clears throat> All right, yeah. Just a moment. I'm touching the screen. And it's slipping away. But and it's not a touch screen. But let's see. Yeah. All right, so. <clears throat> Again, we are looking at why is there an emergency <coughs> for the last movement called the 11th hour movement. And <coughs> What is this 11th hour movement? This thing, my thing is freezing up. But we are getting there. Never mind. Why is it that um, why is it that a set of workers had to be called at the eleventh hour. They weren't, they could not be given because the time was just late and they could not be given three hours. We know that God is <coughs> A reasonable God is consistent, but the fact that they, they were only <clears throat> to work for one hour <clears throat> 
the allotted time was only one single hour, again it shows a serious emergency within Seventh-day Adventist movement. So I introduce you to what God is saying today. Come back to the drawing board. You missed something on the plan. <laughs> something has been skipped over. And it's going to take a lot of hum humility, humbleness of heart. But you better do it now. <coughs> See if I can go back to my where I pass all these. <coughs> so let us um uh, I reach it. Let me the eleventh hour call is the last on record and it is coming just one hour before sunset as we have been discussed. So we are going to look, I guess we can look from here. The call, the call comes to those not hired within the same three hours period in which the ninth hour laborers were hired. Thus, it is a call of the faithful lady. Laymen of those who are anxiously waiting to serve the Lord, but who previously have not been given the opportunity. <laughs> All right. So those in authority now, those who are preaching and going up. Uh, well, not able to do the work. No, no not able. The, the Bible clearly tells us, and I quote these um, <coughs> these parables from time to time, and don't treat them lightly, because when it says that. Those who were invited. Well, if we even go back to uh, <clears throat> Jacob and Esau, those who are careless, Esau is representing those who are careless with the, the birthright, the right to the birthright. Ah. Uh, you think God just put these things in the Bible for filler, to fill space? Those have a primary application to this time. And that's why we see Christ spend a lot of time on parables, the parables of the wheat and tares, the parables of the good fish, the bad fish, the parables of those who were invited, the first invitees, would not taste of the feast. But those who he called, he called them, where did he call them from? 
You know, the highways is one, byways. <clears throat> but all those things have application to God's movement. He is sprucing up. You know that word, spruce up? He is sprucing up his movement. Yeah. First, True. True. Ephesians call it what? Calls it what? Without spot or wrinkle. So, yes, these eleventh hour workers, riders, and we'll show you more about them when um, we go to uh, Ozia. But let's move on quickly because we don't have much time. We are the ninth hour. Laborers proclaim. <clears throat> now Isaiah 66, we are shown how they escape the judgment and are sent to all the nations. That's why, <clears throat> again, we go back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel is pivotal. When we take it from the beginning, Ezekiel 1, and see how things culminate at Ezekiel 2 in Israel, in Jerusalem, so that God will perform an overall a purification in Israel. This is the message that is tailored, that is adopted, for us at this time. A voice crying in the wilderness, but he recalled Jeremiah and he was warning. I think in Jeremiah there was somebody who was warning, warning, warning. <coughs> and when the destruction comes, even the warner was destroyed. So you see, we can't take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. We can't believe that, you know, when we have... That's how dangerous this thing is. There's none of us. It's not about us. That's why when, when we make God's word about us, we don't speak it. When it is about God, we don't matter the consequences. We speak the truth oh. in and out of season. It's not about us. It's not about a large congregation, whether they want to run away or not. It's not about being popular on YouTube and popular on Facebook. The one person who gets it is the one the Holy Spirit is working with. David. Uh, one is one. Saul first is thousand, but David ten thousand. A little shepherd boy. I'm out of nowhere. And that's why we are looking at those idlers idle in the marketplace. Nobody sees them. They are nobody until Christ comes <laughs> and says, Look, I'll use you to finish the last work. So be careful. We don't have the luxury of talking smooth here, so we don't. And in love we are saying this, that is for us, we are, we are really speaking to ourselves. This is quite profound. Isaiah 66, 15, read please. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, 
to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Alright. Mm. Alright, it's good to, to have that charming voice, so the slain of the Lord shall be many. So <laughs> I hope you listen to that. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Verse 19. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Pol, and Lud, that draw the bow, to Tubal and Javan, the isles afar off, that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord, out of all nations, upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, said the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. Clean vessel. Notice the holy mountain, the holy church. Amen. <laughs> the holy mountain, the holy church, and a clean vessel. In one statement it says righteousness, the final gospel work will be done and it will be a clean work for people that will be brought in clean vessels. Clean vessels, clean temples, God himself shall clean us. Amen. It's no joke. This is no fly by night or high flown theory we're talking about. Testimonies, volume 3, 266. The true people of God who have the spirit of the work of the Lord and the salvation of souls. Let me repeat that. The true people of God who have the spirit of the work. Who sees that we have an emergency right now? The spirit of the work of the Lord and the salvation of souls at heart will ever view sin in its real sinful character. They will always be on the side of faithful and plain dealing with sin, which easily beset the people of God, especially in the closing work of the church in the sealing time of the one hundred and forty and four thousand who are to stand without fault before the throne of God will they feel most deeply the wrongs of God's professed people. Mm -hmm. So before you get carried away, 